guys, what's going on? Tim Pursuit, and in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make your very own gaming clean webcam overlay or face cam overlay in just a few easy, simple steps. It's really, really easy to do, just like all my other tutorials. So you guys won't be uh, not, a, you guys will definitely be able to do it. So make sure you smash the like button, share, subscribe if you're new, comment down below what you want to see from me in the next video. And yeah, guys, let's get into the video. So guys, we're here in Photoshop and we're going to be creating a really clean gaming overlay for a face cam or webcam in just a few easy simple steps. So yeah, when you first get onto Photoshop you want to make a new document 1280 by 720 um, and then once you've done that you want to make sure you've got no background so make sure it's just transparent and you've got like these little square things in the background. So once you've done that we're just going to make the, um, the rectangle for the actual face cam first. So uh, what you want to do is go over to this rectangle tool down at the bottom and then choose just a colour you want to choose. So I think I'm going to go with like a reddish colour, so like a dark red, something like that. And then you just want to fill the whole box in and then go to rasterize it. And then once you've done that, you want to just uh, make it a bit smaller, so press Ctrl T and make sure it's the exact same uh, length as the whole document so it fits it perfectly and you want to press Control shift and all and then click and drag it down and then once you've done that that's basically the face cam box we'll make it a bit smaller in a second we just need to work on it a little bit so once you've done that you want to control click on this little icon there and it should like highlight it and you want to go to select modify and contract and um, we need to contract it a little bit so um, maybe a bit more than 15 um, maybe something like 20 is that yeah I think uh, yeah 20 will do and then once you've done that just hit delete and it should just delete the inside of it and it just gives you the actual webcam box so once you've done that it's looking alright so far so you want to double click on the layer go to gradient overlay and then I think we're gonna put it to overlay yeah that looks good then once you've done that, go to Inner Glow and then change that to Overlay as well. And maybe Satin, yeah, Satin as well and change that to Overlay. And then bring it down a bit to about 15%. So that's looking pretty good so far. Then you just want to, I think, yeah, we'll just rasterize that. So once you've done that, we're going to just uh, add a little name box to it. So you want to create a new layer, go over to the Rectangle tool. Um, well actually you can either do it with the pen tool or the rectangle tool, it's actually up to you. So um, you can actually choose where you want to do it as well. So I'm going to just do it at the bottom over here. And obviously make it the same length as what your name is. So I'm just going to rasterize it. And then make sure it's um, directly at the end. And make sure it's below um, the actual webcam overlay. And then once you've done that, you want to just double click on the layer, go to colour overlay and then make sure it's the colour right at the bottom, so you just want to click on that. Like so, and then press OK. And then you want to rasterize it, then go back on the layer style and then go to gradient overlay and change that to overlay as well. And then just bring it down the opacity to about, let's say 40%. So it looks pretty good so far. You can add an overlay if you want to. Just see how it looks. Um, yeah, maybe we could just bring down the opacity for that to about 30%. So then you rasterize and you've got this going on. You can bring it down a bit. I think I'm going to do that. But then what we, can, we should do is go over to the pen tool. Then just click in the corner of that little rectangle. Then over here a bit. And then join it up and make selection and then just delete it and you'll get something like that and it looks really cool and you can just put your name in it so let's just put Timpers and then um, white preferably because it'll um, it'll stand out on the actual overlay it'll look really cool so yeah something like that and the font that I'm using guys is called Couture um, it's that, it's, I don't really know how to say it, but you guys have been asking me what font I usually use and that's probably my favourite font to use. 
So yeah, let's just put it in there. Something like this. And then what I'm going to do is just double click on the layer and add a gradient overlay to it. And then an inner glow. Sorry guys if there was a bit of a pause there, I just uh, someone actually delivered something. So uh, let's just get back into it straight away. So we just add an inner glow, change it to overlay, and then we'll just rasterize that. In fact, no, you can actually add a drop shadow to it if you want. Depends how it looks. We'll just bring the distance to zero and bring the spread up and the size up and then bring down the opacity. You should get something like that. So it's looking oh, <laughs> so it's looking pretty good so far. So uh, you make sure the, the rectangle is actually on its own; it's not merged with anything else. And you want to duplicate it, and then press Control T. Make sure you get the one below it, and then press Control T. And this is a really cool effect if you just like bring it out like to the side a bit, and then maybe bring down uh, the make it a bit darker. And it gives it a really cool effect, like it's, um, I don't know, it just it looks pretty cool like that. Um, but yeah, once you've done that, um, add a new layer and then go to Create Clipping Mask. Then go to the Brush Tool, make sure it's black. And we're just going to add a bit of shadow, like it's actually behind it, makes it look more realistic. So just add little darkness spots in certain places. And then bring down the opacity. And then just group that together. So we've got this so far, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, you can add other things if you want, like you can add textures and stocks and all that type of stuff with my new graphics pack. I'll just show you what you could actually do. Um, we'll just add the pack into it. You could get a stock um, like this, so just hide this. Um, if you don't have this, I, I did a video on it yesterday, I think it was my last video. So once you've done that, you can basically add some stocks. You've got overlays, stocks, plexus, all that type of stuff. But I think I'm going to add this one right here just because it's red. And yeah. So I'm just going to add it to the, the top rectangle. Great clipping mask. And we'll I'll just mess around with the overlays. Um, so... I think hard light looks pretty good and then just bring down the opacity a bit and it gives you a really cool effect. So that's basically it guys, once you've done all that you can just group it and then um, press E to merge it, Control E and then bring it into the top corner and then just bring it down to the, the size that you like something like that and it just it's a really cool face cam box so I did I hope you did enjoy the video guys make sure you smash the like button the support on my last video guys for the GFX but we almost I think we basically hit 100 likes in under the under 24 hours which is absolutely insane guys thanks so much for the incredible support guys we're almost at 2.5k well we're getting there so just keep it up guys and um, stay tuned for the Q&A later on today and I, I hope you did enjoy guys and I'll see you in the next video.